What actually happens if the M2M customer wants to change from one operator to another? One of the worries that an M2M customer might have is will the transfer actually take place within a certain time period? Will it take place at all? Will it result in some assets becoming stranded because the transfer did not complete? So the GSMA has been asked to help here and we've helped by creating a document which we call the Business Processes for Remote SIM Provisioning. If you look inside this document you can see first a number of possible deployment models and second a number of processes around each of those deployment models. The deployment models in this document are not representative of all possible models as the market is quite young and it is likely that further models will come into fruition. But for the moment, the deployment models in here represent how to transfer from one operator to another. If you consider the deployment model shown on the right, operator 1 is supplying both the bootstrap and an operational profile. At the end of contract, we are changing both the bootstrap and the operational profile to a different operator, so that the OEM, operator 1 and operator 2, can see a well-defined process on how that change will occur, with each taking on several responsibilities. The final part of the document is a transfer plan, a form that can be used by all parties to govern the process itself. This document is a living document and new versions shall appear in the course of time as required by the industry.